Thank you for being part of this presentation today. Our focus is on U.S. government, and uh, this is Unit 1, Foundations of U.S. Democracy, and uh, the Declaration of Independence and the Articles of Confederation tutorial. Please make sure you have a, a notebook ready to take notes. As you review the material in this tutorial, like I mentioned to you, make sure that you have something to take notes on, preferably a notebook in which you can reference back in order to answer the questions that you will be asked during this tutorial. The objective for this lesson is that you will examine the Declaration of Independence and the government created by the Articles of Confederation. Now let's move on. This is page 12 of the Declaration of Independence and the Articles of Confederation tutorial and this is your lesson activity. And uh, I will re read to you the directions so this way you will be able to answer everything according to what your teacher is expecting you to do. Directions. Read the instructions of this self-check activity and type in your response. At the end of the activity, click the link to open the answer key. Use the answer key to evaluate your work. Really important. You have to read all of this information. The next part is the activity part. You have to be able to read all of this information that has been given to you and uh, you will be using most of this information, if not all of this information, to answer the questions that you are going to be asked. Let's review part A. Why do you think the Declaration of Independence outlines a political philosophy? Once again, you have to reference back to all of this writing here, and not only this writing, but also the previous slides in this tutorial, and that will help you to answer the question. In this case, the Declaration of Independence outlines a political philosophy because of many reasons. Some of the reasons include the right to be free, the right to have your own government, but you need to be able to go back again in order to answer this question. Please make sure also that you are fully providing good solid content with at least a good paragraph for each response. Part B. Why did the colonists believe they were justified in breaking away from the British rule? All right, once again, based on what you read and based on the information that you have studied before in the previous slides of this presentation, or the tutorial itself, I should say, why do colonists believe that they are justified in breaking away from the British rule? Please remember that the colonists believe that they had rights and they believe that those rights were not being respected by the British king and this allowed them or gave them the right according to them to say goodbye to Great Britain. Please make sure again that you are providing a good solid paragraph here. Part C is asking you to read this particular excerpt from the declaration and the answer as well what you are being asked to do. Let's let's just read this really quickly. Read this brief excerpt from the Declaration. We hold this truth to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by the Creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness. Now, in a two to three paragraph essay, define in your own words the meaning of the unalienable rights of liberty, life, in the pursuit of happiness. In your response, make sure to address whether these rights apply to ideals or issues that are important in today's world. So you're writing about what this quote really means and that you are obviously providing evidence based on what you have read before and that you are comparing it to today. How is this quote relevant today in our government? Please make sure that you are providing, in this case, two to three paragraphs. I highly recommend you actually do three paragraphs minimum. In this case, your teacher will know that you're fully comprehending the material. Now let's move on to the next part. We are now on page 21 of the Declaration of Independence in the Articles of Confederation tutorial. And this is lesson activity for the new nation. Please make sure that you read all directions. Please make sure that you read this paragraph here where it says activity. Please make sure that you click on the links for Article 1, Article 2, and Article 3. This will help you again to answer the questions. And Part A says, according to Article 1, why did Massachusetts raise taxes on citizens 
And what about the currency of the time made it difficult for citizens to pay taxes? So this has to do with taxes. It has to do with why taxes were raised on citizens and were these people able to pay those taxes? Please make sure, again, you go over and review Article 1, Article 2, and Article 3 in order to answer this question. Part B, according to Article 2, what was George Washington's major concern about the rebellion in Massachusetts? So what happened in Massachusetts? Why was this rebellion taking place? What or how were people reacting in this rebellion? And how did the government actually react to it? Was the government able to control the rebellion? Was the government able to handle the rebellion accordingly or in a good way? Well, you need to tell me based on Article 2. Now, according to Article 3, this is Part C, explain both sides of Chase Rebellion. Include perspectives of the political leaders and the leaders of the rebellion. Now, we know that we're talking about a rebellion that had to do with taxes, and in this case, Chase Rebellion. And how was the government able to react? Was the government successful? And out of this rebellion, what happened at the end? What did the political leaders think about the way the government was structured at that time? Was it working or was it not working? Part D says, based on your knowledge of the events leading to the rebellion, how did Shays' Rebellion highlight problems with the Articles of Confederation? Well, I can tell you that the Articles of Confederation created a very weak government and there was no way to tax really uh, by the federal government or the national government. So the national government couldn't do a lot in case, in this particular case of the Chase Rebellion. But again, you have to go back and review the articles that have been provided to you. And uh, please make sure you continue doing your best. Please make sure you continue working hard. And uh, I will talk to you guys soon.